Good morning. Uh, very, very happy to be here, and I hope you're all finding uh, many reasons to hit the awesome button frequently this week. Um, certainly a lot of exciting announcements, and big data is an exciting place to be. Um, MAPAR is a technology provider. I'm going to talk a little bit about technology today and, and what we've seen in Hadoop over the past few years and what we're seeing coming up. Um, you know, the conversation around Hadoop, um, even two or three years ago, was very different. It was around what's Hadoop, what is this technology, what sort of use cases can I develop and implement on top of Hadoop, um, how does it compare and contrast to my legacy applications and other emerging technologies. And uh, it was more of a learning period. And, and now, you know, MapR has customers ranging from uh, Web 2.0, running one of the largest ad exchanges, to a financial services company who really has re-architected their fraud architecture on top of MapR. Um, and the conversations changed. Now it's about the need for one platform to handle the broadest set of big data use cases and needs. And some of the problems that uh, we've run into over the last few years is that uh, customers, either due to technical limitations uh, or other reasons, needed to implement a number of, of data or compute silos. So it might be that they couldn't find a big data technology with a, broadest set of, uh, a broad enough set of APIs and a combination of batch, interactive, and real-time capabilities to really service the broad set of their use cases. So they had to implement multiple technologies. Or even with companies who have standardized on Hadoop, they may have to implement multiple clusters uh, due to lack of multi-tenancy features. Perhaps, uh, for example, they need to segregate a production application from more of a data exploration or decision support application. So let me tell you where we are and where we're going with that. Um, you know, Hadoop really started as a, a batch uh, predictive analytics platform. So you'd batch load data into Hadoop, and you'd deploy, let's say, a clustering algorithm or use a, a recommendation engine that you just heard about. Um, to do a, a number of very, very important applications, you know, targeted marketing, uh, trade analytics, uh, fraud analytics, uh, things of that nature. And we continue to see that as being a, a tremendous, va tremendously valuable use case for uh, Hadoop across industries. But even on our version one product, we added uh, a POSIX compliant uh, data platform. And that changed uh, and opened up Hadoop to a new set of applications as well. Uh, in a couple of ways. One is it opened up Hadoop to file-based APIs, so it was easy to get integration with other technologies. For example, you know, uh, loading data from Hadoop into a data warehouse, exporting data from a data warehouse into Hadoop, uh, use of desktop tools, uh, integration with Linux servers, and it also changed some of the data characteristics from being so batch to being more uh, real-time, so you could do uh, processing of data as it's written into the cluster. So, uh, that was a, a one innovation, and now uh, MapR is working with the community on a, and there's a, a really broad range of SQL-based enhancements being done to the Hadoop platform. So, of course, Hive's always been an important part of the platform for SQL-based access, but, you know, too batch-oriented. So now you're seeing a number of initiatives around interactive SQL and also around full read-write, uh, both from commercial vendors and also from open-source projects. <coughs> We're very excited about a a project called Apache Drill, which, which we think brings that uh, kind of traditional business intelligence data exploration using SQL to Hadoop um, and really opens up uh, Hadoop to a, a broader range of technologists and analysts uh, that really understand how to uh, do data exploration using SQL processing. And there's a number, number of other uh, implementations uh, being developed as well, and we think that's just good for organizations wanting to use Hadoop. Um, MapR also uh, uh, uniquely did an upgrade to the database component of Hadoop HBase, and by improving the oper operational characteristics there, we're seeing some really new use cases. Uh, in fact, we're working on a, a telco billing application on top of MapR, and you can imagine 20 years ago, a telco had maybe, uh, you know, you had one, one phone in your household, you maybe made 100 calls a week, now, with uh, the proliferation of devices, data plans, SMS messages, um, running a telco billing application on top of HBase, on top of MapR, really makes sense to be able to scale that times 10 at about one-tenth of the cost. And we're not done yet. There's going to be more integration of search, uh, real-time streaming, and uh, really in the quest to really provide a data platform that can service the broadest set of your application needs. 
I uh, invite you to uh, learn more about MapBar. We'd love to partner with you on your big data endeavors and try to make you successful there. Uh, stop by our booth. You could hear about uh, performance world record. We set the minutes world record with a partner at Google uh, and announced that this week. Uh, we're in booth 401. And I'd invite you to stop by, uh, also uh, talk to the group, meet some of our people, and uh, you'll know, start that partnership on your big data projects. Thank you very much.